wants to feel free to come in, help fill in the letters here. We remember Sahar Mamdouh Al Alami. She was 22 years old. Sahar was newly married and six months pregnant. She, along with her husband's entire family, were murdered by an Israeli airstrike on their home on November, in, at the end of November 2023. remember Lana and Mohammed Ghassan Radwan. They were 6 and 11 and they were murdered on October 17, 2023. Two days before their martyrdom, Lana sent a spontaneous video to her sister saying she did not want to die or be torn to pieces and that she missed her school and her friends there. She and her brother Mohammed were then murdered in an Israeli airstrike. Please take four petals off of your flower and place them on the ground. And repeat after me, not another bomb. Not another bomb. Good afternoon, family. Part of Black for Palestine, uh, I'm a researcher at the Institute for Policy Studies. I want to start by acknowledging that since October, we have well over 40,000 new ancestors in Gaza. We need to honor them and honor the living by demanding not another bomb. I will not elaborate on the slaughter, the details of the killing, the suffering in Gaza, which my friends here on the mic are doing beautifully, putting words to the unspeakable. I will say that these are U.S. weapons that Israel is using. That 100% of the aircraft dropping bombs are U.S. planes. That 100% of the 2,000 pound bombs being dropped are made in the United States. That 100% of the vetoes of ceasefire resolutions in the Security Council came from the United States. So this is not only an Israeli genocide, this is a U.S. genocide. We have to stop it. And we are here to talk about Gaza, of course. But I'd be remiss, I feel, if I didn't say a word about Dorchester, where I live. Where, as you may know, they are trying to close our only hospital. The Carney Hospital which is taking care of me, which is taking care of my daughter, which is taking care of my neighbors. The only hospital in the largest section of Boston, Dorchester. And as I sat there at the hearing about the closing of the Kearney on Tuesday night and listened to city and state officials say that there just isn't the money to save this hospital. What I thought about were two things. One, are all of the hospitals in Gaza being systematically invaded and attacked over these months? That this is a country that arms a state that is systematically attacking hospitals in Palestine and yet allowing hospitals to close here in this country. The other thing I thought about was that on the same day, on the morning of this hearing, that the State Department announced that they were releasing another $20 billion 
and weapons for Israel. It is not a mystery what those $20 billion will fund. We see what they fund. It is not a mystery what will happen to people in Dorchester if this hospital closes. People will die. The point here is not to compare Gaza to Dorchester. There is no comparison. It is to say that the officials in this country, federal, state, and local, are making a set of calculated decisions about who can live and who can die. About whose lives are disposal. وأخي الصغير بدرة رجله نحن ما ذنبنا لن نفعل أي شيء He said we are just innocent children him his brother and his three siblings that were killed what was their fault what have they done to deserve this wants to say something too. Brothers and sisters, I will end with a prayer. Pray with me. God, today we stand before you in humility and in determination, ready to pursue the peace, justice, and equality that you demand of us. We ask you that your love would comfort those who mourn the loved ones today that their memories flood their families with joy. With that, we pray to you, the one God of Noah, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, Muhammad, and us all, for an end to violence and ceasefire now. Assalamu alaikum.